Hey guys, it's Austin and today we're going to be seeing if we can do any type of photo or video editing on this $150 laptop from Lenovo, the Lenovo IdeaPad 100S that I've done tons of videos on. I'll have them down below in the description if you guys want to check them out. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so I have Adobe Premiere CS4 loaded up on our $150 computer. And funny story about this, I signed into the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite and went to download Adobe Premiere CC 2017 on this computer and it downloaded and installed perfectly fine but it wouldn't let me open the program it just there was no open button anywhere and so I did a few Google searches and I found out that Adobe Premiere 2017 doesn't support 32-bit machines and this is a 32-bit machine so the last version of Premiere to support um, 32-bit machines was Premiere Pro CS4 which came out back in like 2011, 2012. So very old software that we have running on here, but I have our five clips and I'm gonna go ahead and start things off with the VGA clip. So 640 by 480 and just scrubbing along the timeline, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. I mean, granted, this is a very low resolution clip, but it's still noticeably choppier compared to the uh, original clip and if we go to play it back yeah it is definitely choppy if you just let it play back all right so now i'm gonna try our hd clip so 1280 by 720 again at 30 frames per second and this is still not as bad as i thought it would be but it's a lot way choppier than the vga clip was and if we go to play back inside the editor it cannot keep up with this HD footage. All right, so now we have our full HD footage. So 1920 by 1080, again, at 30 frames per second. And I already have a feeling this is gonna be really bad. Yeah, this is just very, 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 very choppy. And if I go to let it play back, it's like, it's a still image, nothing's moving. It's literally freezing up. I mean, I can scrub around the timeline fine, but the preview window, I'm having a hard time keeping up. Now I'm gonna try another full HD clip, but this time at 60 frames per second, just to see how much of a difference that makes. It's pretty much, it's the same thing as regular full HD footage. Um, playback, scrubbing around the timeline, everything. I, I don't really notice the difference between 60 frames per second and 30 frames per second. It's still just abominably bad no matter what. But last but not least, you know, we got to throw in some 4K footage. So I have a 4K 30 frames per second clip that I'm going to try and just see what it looks like. All right, it's on the timeline, scrubbing around. I see nothing. I literally see nothing. I, I don't, can this computer play, can you play back 4K footage? Um, I hit play and nothing happens. Literally nothing is happening. The play button didn't turn into a pause button like it normally does with footage. It literally, nothing is changing. Uh, the little conforming bar, basically where it just reads the footage and imports it into Premiere, has not moved. Nothing, it cannot handle 4K footage. Do not try 4K footage. It will not handle 4K footage. Dang, so that straight up encoded in one and a half minutes. Uh, I'm impressed. So all of these video clips are a minute long and they have background audio from the camera's microphone in them. Uh, it's just a single clip of me walking around my room. I don't know, I'm just, I'm impressed that I was able to do that. All right, now on to HD 720p footage. All right, so I hit start right now. Our estimated time remaining is about three minutes and 10 seconds. So roughly around double what the uh, 40p footage took. Still, I'm really impressed if it actually does encode it in that time. It seems to be moving really fast. All right, so the 720p footage just finished up. It took three minutes and 16 seconds. Again, very impressed with how this computer is handling it. But now we're gonna bump things up to full HD, which I think is gonna make this thing bog down a lot. All right, so six and a half minutes was our time. Uh, for this for the full HD clip at 30 frames per second But now I'm gonna bump things up to 60 frames per second and see if that makes the render time that much of a difference Because as we saw in the editing timeline It didn't really make much of a difference whether it was 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second um, So yeah, we'll see if there's a difference in the render times All right So the 60 frames per second clip just got done encoding and it took 10 minutes around that exactly 
Um, so a few minutes longer than the 30 frames per second clip did, but now it's time to see how long the 4K clip will take to export. And by the way, just to let you guys know, these clips are exporting really quickly because I'm exporting them on like the lowest quality settings, um, things like that, just to get the exports done. If I was doing higher quality settings, these would be taking a lot longer than they are. All right, so I just went to drag the 4K clip onto the timeline and Premiere Pro is not responding now. So I think I just crashed it again. Straight up Premiere Pro is not responding. We crashed it again. So I'm gonna try uh, one more time, but if it crashes, then I'm just gonna assume that it can't handle the 4K footage. All right, so I dragged our 4K clip onto the timeline and it crashed again. So Premiere Pro cannot handle 4K footage on this computer. And now I'm gonna move over into Photoshop and try our 12 megapixel still image that I took off of my iPhone earlier just to see how well it handles uh, photo editing in Photoshop. All right, so I have a still image right here. And man, can I just say that this screen is not accurate at all uh, for color correction. Just looking at the image right now versus what I saw coming off my camera and what I saw when I put the image on my other computer, my main computer with a way more color accurate screen. Uh, this looks very, the colors on this just look very, very different. So color correction is one thing you definitely wouldn't want to do if you were editing on this machine. You'd want to connect it to a more color accurate display. It's just underpowered, so it's way too slow. You have to use old software, etc., etc. Save the money, get something a little bit nicer than this for video editing. Photo editing too, this is Photoshop CS4, mind you. Just, you know the deal, save the money and get something a little bit nicer. Um, other than that, I gotta give a huge thanks to Slick Wraps for sponsoring this video. Um, they're the ones who make skins for devices, so say you pick up a new laptop, new phone, or you can uh, pick up skins just to make your device look cooler, you'll get some extra protection to it. Um, and they make more than just skins too, I have their mouse pad right here. Their really big mouse pad. I have that right here. Um, so yeah, I'll have their link down below in the description and you can use offer code AwesomeGarner to get $5 off uh, whatever you order off their website. So huge thanks to them. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.